Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and it looks like we have something like a small drama in our community right now. If you don't know yet, on the Sunday that was two days ago, Joshua Bardwell announced together with the actor Terence Howard that there is a community project in which you can participate and win 15,000 bucks if you will win a competition. When what you have to build is basically uh, this shape fly but not only fly in the way that well basically you put a quadcopter frame inside of this and you fly like any quadcopter no because this thing has to be able to translate on the rotation in any axis without the need to move in this direction so it can basically hover in any absolutely any any orientation that means in at least in theory, it should have how many degrees of freedom. We're gonna have this, 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 rotation, six degrees of freedom, and it's fully six degrees of freedom. Uh, please do remember that our quads are not six degrees of freedom because you cannot have, let's say, attitude this side and go this direction. This thing, in theory, should be able to go anywhere you go. Um, we will go into the details about how this thing can be achieved in a minute. Now, I I watched the original announcement by the Joshua Bardwell, even posted a comment or something like that, and decided, yeah, but 15,000 bucks for this, rather, no. I Rather, I'm not really interested, because I don't really think that... Um, until the Christmas 2020, there is enough time to, for me for me to participate. Plus, I'm Europe, and the contest is clearly for the US-based citizens because you have to go there and blah 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 blah. So it's really like kind of complicated. And on top of that, I really do not have uh, time to do it. And on top of that, I really think that from the possibility to solve and kind of interesting interesting uh, physical mathematical because yeah this is a kind of interesting mathematical question as well problem yeah i not really no no i don't have time so i i I, before on Sunday, before going to bed, I really like spent maybe half an hour lying in bed and thinking, okay, but how to solve it, blah, 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 blah. But then I decided I will basically forget about the whole case because I am not interested. Now, now today, um, by pure coincidence, I see that who? The drone mesh says that this project is disrespectful towards the community and it disrespected a lot of uh, developers because the community does not work like that. Um, sorry, drone mesh. As uh, I think I can like clearly, clearly, no, that the dot word doesn't exist. Freely say that as part of the community, as one of the developers inside the FPV community that has an active. Um, input into the current development of how the FPV drones and not only are evolving right now, I'm, for example, not disrespected at all. I'm not participated, I'm not participating, I'm not interested really in doing anything about this project because of the reasons I already stated, but besides that, I'm absolutely fine, I don't care, this is really above my, my level of interest. But, Please, um, I don't know how many developers you contacted or contacted you and uh, do you really have enough of the authority to say that this is respectful towards the community? I personally doubt. For example, I can say that inside of the INAF inner circle, nobody really like, okay, yeah, nobody really brought this topic even up. So we are not, not really that interested in the, in, in, in the thing. So it's really hard to say that, for example, INAF developers are disrespected by this. But okay, but okay. So there is clearly right now something wrong. On one hand, we have very strong words saying that this is the the tragedy for I don't know what, what for for really what. On the other hand, we have this project that I don't really think is viable to be accomplished until end of the year. And uh, fifteen thousand bucks? No, definitely not. No, not really very interested because please do remember that you have to pay taxes from that and even only the equipment because this thing will crash during test and you will destroy a lot of prototypes and spend a lot of time. No, this I. I don't really think that this is doable 
possible on a serious level with all the requirements inside of the project in this time window. But but if you are kind of interested in uh, maybe thinking about this or participating, because I thought about the project, I can share with you some of the ideas and some of the challenges that you might come into while trying to at least think about this. So basically the linchpin, the frame built like that, which looks like has to take four propellers, because if you put the propeller view into the uh, Terry, Lynch, Terry Lynch pins web page animation, you will see that there should be eight, six motors and six propellers. Now, um, we come into the problem of A, because this thing has to be able to rotate in any direction it wants without having to be forced to go into the direction of the uh, rotation. This means it has to be A, compensate the thrust of all the motors and from time to time the motor will have to deliver thrust on this vector and from time to time it will have to deliver thrust on this vector. This means once you need six bidirectional motors with bidirectional propellers. This is one. Next you also have two options of solving this problem. Problem number one is that either you will use the stationary motors uh, and then you have to compensate for the angle of the uh, inclination of the motor, or the propeller plane towards the ground, depending on where the motor is at this very specific moment, or you can try to add some kind of the tilt mechanism to the motors. And while uh, the tilt mechanism probably will improve the efficiency a little, because let's assume that this thing should be fly in this orientation in this very moment. We have three motors that are facing downwards and are able to deliver the thrust and they will just vector of the thrust will be directed downwards but because they are angled towards uh, each other uh, there will be extra forces acting on the frame trying to make it explode and uh, I would have to say that probably like 40% of the thrust you can do the math by the way if you really want to 40% uh, of the thrust will be actually wasted because only of the forces acting not uh, vertically up but into strength directions. And on top of that you will have to carry three propellers that do not really at anything towards the generation of the lift. Then it will translate into one of the axes and then this for example at one point this propeller that is right now down and is generating some of the crust, thrust will no longer be generating this thrust. So this is number one. Next because in this for example configuration there are only three motors that uh, are acting more or less on the vertical plane that means that the differential thrust from the motors is not um, compensated by the motors that are delivering the thrust towards the, the sky. So that also means that one of those propellers on top will have to counteract the differential torque and act in this very moment as the yaw stabilization. However, because of the motor thrust is very erratic at low RPM and the differential torque delivered uh, over here, was I saying torque or thrust? I, I meant torque. Uh, it's not probably also very high. That means that I'm not sure you can go with only one of the motors really like counteracting the movement on the yaw axis and providing the yaw control. Maybe it's something, something more. Uh, so maybe two in one direction, third in the third direction. And if you do not decide to put any kind of the thrust vectoring to the motors, you have six motors and the mixer for each motor depends on the orientation of the craft in space. That means Right now our quadcopters are using a static mixer. That means we have the roll control and the roll control is always assigned to the same motors. To do it, 
for example, you can uh, take a look at what's... Uh, because the, the PID controller will be exactly the same. We have the stability on the roll PTO, there is no difference. However, the mixer will be dynamic and the weight of every of the motors in this configuration will depend on the actual orientation of the craft itself. So sometimes this motor, for example, will only control yaw, but if we if this will translate and rotate in space so that this, this and this motor are pointing more or less downwards, then it means that they will act on the both roll and pitch and yaw, while this motor stops, uh, no, this motor, for example, stops acting as the roll and pitch and acts only as the yaw. So, a lot of tri trigonometry, sinuses, cosinuses, tangents, uh, running left and right, constantly updating the, uh, the mixer weights. Uh, this also means that uh, this thing can go with only one gyro, because no matter where you're gonna put the gyro, it will be reading the angular velocity in all the axes, it's really rotating uh, without any problems. However, this thing cannot fly without the accelerometer because the accelerometer data will be fed to compute which motor has right now authority on which axis. So this is something like a problem. And because of that, you now also have to remember about the centrifugal forces acting on the accelerometer and you will have to really have a very nice way of working with the gravity vector and filtering out the centrifugal forces from the accelerometer so you do not get the accelerometer drift. On top of that you still of course have to figure out where to put the flight controller, where to put battery and so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. So I really do think that one and a half months and 15,000 euros is not really enough to really like seriously work on the project. The second approach is with the tilting rotors, because if, for example, you would be able to add some kind of the servo and tilt every of those motors at least in one of the axes, eh? so for example, this motor with the servo on this axis, you will gain some of the efficiency because then there will be less of the forces counteracting each other during the generation of the trust. Uh, but then you also have to carry more of the weight in the form of the servo. So I really would not go into the tilting rotor uh, approach because this thing will be heavy. And if it's heavy, it's going to break and the batteries will die kind of immediately. And uh, as a result, this thing is rather a no-go. But if you are really into the trigonometry and really would like to work on kind of complicated mathematical problem, then yes, please do. Good thing you do not have to work really on the... If you are trying, for example, to reuse something what we have right now in the flight controllers, you do not have to worry about the PID controller because the PID controller will be exactly the same only with different gains uh, than we have right now because this thing is rather really like symmetric in the three, uh, three dimensions. You will have to figure out the dynamic mixer in which the weight of the authority on each motor on each axis depends on the position on the motor in space. And uh, I would really be surprised to see something really like a viable solution until end of the year. But I'm, it's only me, I have only 20 years of experience in that era and I'm usually the, the pessimistic guy. So, uh, bottom line, interesting, Yes, um, disrespectful, maybe someone felt disrespected. I never really felt disrespected and disrespect was never really on my mind before I watched the video by the drone mesh. But if somebody felt disrespected, then who am I to prohibit this person to feel disrespected? Because if people want to feel disrespected, they will find the reason to be disrespected. However, I'm not participating um, to big of a challenge, not enough time, not enough incentive in forms of the 15,000 euros minus taxes. So no, definitely, definitely not. But if you are, I give you um, a few, I think, kind of interesting pointers right now and they are free of charge. So thank you for watching and I hope uh, there will be no more drama on this topic today. So thank you very much. Until the next one. Bye bye.